I am from India. I am an associate professor working uh, with the Pacific Institute of Management. It's one of the management institute in India, affiliated to one of the university. Uh, here I am uh, the uh, delegate member of one of the organization, non-profit organization uh, named as Diplo Foundation of Malta. And uh, the basic purpose of uh, coming here is that uh, uh, after pursuing uh, internet governance capacity building program of uh, Diplo Foundation, I have got a fellowship to come here, interact with my own uh, other Diplo members, to have uh, to learn something more about internet governance here by learning from who's who of uh, different bodies and countries and to strengthen the ties and networking with other people. Uh, yesterday, like uh, the inaugural session was there and we heard the Prime Minister of Greece and the ministers and uh, again as I am saying, the who's who like uh, Dr. Nitin Desai and other people and just we are learning not only the past, present but then future of internet as well and internet, internet governance possibilities. Uh, yeah, it's possible, although uh, at present uh, uh, it seems a bit uh, difficult, but then I think it's a need of the time that internet should be governed. Looking into the uh, security problems, looking into the issues related to safety, uh, and uh, again it's also highly essential because the world is witnessing uh, the uh, alarming uh, problem of digital divide and the problems of uh, the, especially looking into the problems of uh, developing countries. Okay. I think uh, it's a highly essential to have uh, this internet governance. It's neither of the time. I don't feel there is any need to control the governance, but then, yeah, we must uh, involve multiple stakeholders because the internet is a, a multi-stakeholder. So uh, not only the agencies uh, who are at the apex like ICANN and uh, ITU and uh, IGF of United Nations, of course, I, IGF is playing a great role, but then, of course, it should be a uh, participatory one where the roles of not only these agencies, but then civil societies, academic institutions, NGOs, I think each and everything, everybody has to play their role. I feel that uh, uh, transition is required from assigning this responsibility only to this apex organizations like ITU and uh, uh, IGF and ICANN to ICANN, that is I-C-A-N, that means each and every individual and agency has to play its own role. I can, I will do that. And uh, not only when I am saying I can, uh, that means every agency and, and stakeholder has a different perspective towards what internet is and what it should be. But when I am saying I can, that means I should not only indulge into constructive, productive uh, discussion related to internet governance, but also should uh, sacrifice and give up my own dogmatic views on what internet should be. Yeah, something which is a dogmatic in the larger interest of the internet and uh, for across the for entire society. Uh, for, yeah, your concern is very right and very genuine one, but uh, I feel that uh, it will take some time and uh, some diplomatic pressures uh, in such kind of international uh, forums, I think, uh, can make a difference. And the first stage is that the world should understand and become aware about such kind of censorships. So very first st uh, stage towards any kind of transition, transformation or change is the awareness. And I think such kind of forums are, uh, will be instrumental in the same. Uh, I feel the biggest concern of uh, the enti entire uh, internet community is that uh, it, the accessibility. The larger the accessibility and uh, better would be the future of internet. That is, like we are listening from yesterday itself that uh, uh, 5 billion people or more do not have access to internet. So I think that should be the biggest concern. And then uh, to 1 billion people to whom it is accessible, I think it should be safe. Uh, that <laughs> there may be a lot many skepticism about internet, but I think uh, we should not look into the uh, fears. Uh, we should look into the uh, more uh, productive and uh, other aspects of it. Because in any kind of development, we have a lot many different kind of challenges. But then if 
people are really optimistic about the uh, things i think things will be better i think security and safety should be the biggest problem i suppose and uh, united we stand i think together together everyone has to do it i think the same concern uh, uh, people should leave the their own vested in interest uh, each country each stakeholder and uh, think for the uh, sustainable development like optimistic great thank you so much that's <laughs> it thanks it